It'd be pretty funny if I lost my money. I have a reason to kill myself at the Great Depression. Jeez. Man, I lost a hundred quid, man. Yeah, I seen him though. He's doing pretty well. To be honest. No, not even cool. seventy. I, I put in fifty. Diggy. Oh, how so? Well, I mean, he's. You know, seems to have his life somewhat together. He's driving, has a girlfriend. He passed his college exams. I'm not driving, lonely, and failed them, so. You still have your repeats. <laughs> True, man, and they're free again, so. I'm on the up and up, you know? It's all looking up <laughs> for Adam. Um, yeah, I. I I had a game and uh, not a game. Uh, I had a thought and now I'm thinking about it and it's not that great. Um, yeah. I was just gonna do like, like, w not like a category, I guess. Um, like you know, like uh, like a top three thing. Like rather than saying like what's your favorite movie, because that's kind of hard. Like yeah, what's like your top three favorite movies and then but like obviously not just like movies but it was like the whole point was like the top three thing and then i was yeah then you know we just disagree with each other and hopefully that would be the fun of it but now i don't know because i just but I it's, it's kind of yeah but it's kind of hard to disagree with somebody other person oh no I, I could disagree with some other opinion when they're <laughs> wrong <laughs> yeah i guess but yeah no i don't know i disagree with your opinion Wait a game. minute. These are some juice or questions here, man. You got some questions? Yeah. Hit me with it. What's Poppington, by the way? Oh, have we started? I'm always recording. Fuck, man. Okay. Jesus, dude. You need to give us a warning. <laughs> no, Alright, I, I only started off. like 30 seconds ago. Okay, oh, okay, let's okay. Don't tell the audience. Off. Don't tell the audience. Okay. <laughs> with a happy note. <laughs> We'll start it off with a happy note. <laughs> what inscription do you want on your gravestone? <laughs> um... Probably dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm fuck with that. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't care. I'm dead. Is mm. that what you want written on it? I don't know. I, I don't care. care. I'm, I'm dead. dead. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll fuck it. I'll keep that then. Or just, or just nothing. Just nothing. Just a just a slab. That's it. <laughs> Pure um, blank. Just to staple a piece of paper to the nearest tree. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, uh, "It's it like says, twenty yards away." <laughs> it says, "John is buried around here somewhere." Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get uh, buried treasure. That's a good one. Buried treasure. That's buried what you treasure. want. That's just put it. Just put a big X. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I'll have um, booby traps on the way down, like the fucking Goonies, man. The Goobies, like Indiana Jones. True. But um, yeah, I'd, I don't know what I'd put on it. I feel like. Have y'all ever been to a? Have y'all ever read gravestones like? No. Yeah, they're all like. I never understand. Like, how like, do people just, like died this, born this? Yeah, like how do people have yeah. a will and not put like, and then some bitch is like loving husband to fucking Mary or whatever. Who cares, man? Put something funny, like. Here lies. That's it. That's all it says. <laughs> Here lies. What are you lying about, man? I don't want a gravestone. I want to be launched into space in a rocket. The next rocket that's going to space, I want to be put into a <laughs> coffin. A dead <laughs> yeah, I want to be put into a coffin that's shaped like a miniature rocket ship. Inside and, the rocket ship? Yeah. And then okay. once they're far enough into space that they can just push me and I'll maintain my momentum in Forever. any direction and I'll just go. Towards the sun. You can do it towards the sun. That'd be kind of lit. I'd just burn up. Could you imagine? I'm. I just. You're still alive. Die in the sun. No. Well, you'd be dead by the time you get there. Nah, man. I think it's alright. And then, like, you know, like we'll say, oh, we pushed him at this velocity. So then, like, by the time he gets to the sun, it'll be this date, and like my great great grandkids will be like, wow, He's my great great granddad is currently. 
in the sun. <laughs> nice, man. That's pretty wholesome. Currently in the sun. That's what I want. Currently in the sun. And then, or you could just put the date of when you're going to be in the sun on the yeah. game. Yeah, died on this date. <laughs> we'll be in Enters the sun. Enters the sun <laughs> on this date. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good one, man. I don't know. Mine's a bit more boring. I just want to be put on, like, I want one of those Viking burials. Put me on, like, a wooden raft and just set me on fire. Oh, yeah, they're lit, man. Like, fucking Lord right, of the Rings going over the side of the, uh, the waterfall. It is some tribal shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, like Thor going off the side of the world. Yeah. I want to be put in a Salem witch trial type thing. You know, where they just burn you on a cross or whatever. Yeah. To and I might be a witch. I don't know. Life. Yeah, I could survive. That'd be epic. <laughs> so well, to, if I'm dying, I might as well be dead. If what I'm was, wait, wait, wait. You want to be alive doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the point of the witch trials? Like, if they're if they pass the test, we kill them, and if they fail the test, we kill them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty much it, yeah? Yeah. She lived. She's a witch. Like, what, what was their plan for if wow. they did live? What were they going to do? He'd, he'd kill them. How? No, but you, but you, you can burn it. Like you can't <laughs> even burn it alive. How are you going to kill it? Just chop its head off or something. I don't know. Yeah, but you have to get close. If fire couldn't kill her, like, there's not a chance like you're going to get close. Hmm. <sighs> My favorite one was when they drowned them, and the the point of it was if they float, her she's a witch. That's <laughs> good. Doesn't everybody float when they're dead? I think uh, that's probably no. like if it's no. salty. <laughs> if it's salty, yeah. Yeah, if it's salty, yeah. <laughs> I think like you lose all once you drown, you lose lots of all, all oxygen, so you just sink. Yeah, and you kind of you kind of blow it up. Mm. You turn into a big balloon. That's epic. Yeah, man. Pog champ. Um. Oh, I'm talking. Okay, I'm talking. Wait, did I lag out? Yeah, I couldn't no. hear you. Oh yeah. fuck. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But you know the way always in them, when people are finding bodies in the swamps and shit, they're always floating. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cause they're how are they floating? Up. Oh, cause they're bloated up, so they go down and then they come back up. I think so. I think that's how it works. Like, yeah, like in in films. Uh, they go all like bloaty and weird looking. Sexy. Uh, <laughs> I ask a new oh, question. Oh man, that was a big one. Oh wait, you can't hear when I burp. That was a no. really big burp. Thank God, man. Maybe I'll edit that one out. That was too big. We literally couldn't hear it. I didn't hear. Oh, it. you can hear it on the recording though, can't you? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I I don't know what you're gonna say. Will I ask a new question? Yeah. You had some, you had some you were gonna say. Did I? Yeah. All right, I'll just make something up. Um, just ask the question, dog. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm trying to, to find one that's good. Uh, there's no such thing as a good question. Yeah, there is, man. Ooh, actually, I, I have a question. Oh, here we go. Listen, I ask good questions. You <laughs> <laughs> right. If there is one like, um, like film or series you'd want remade, what would it be? And do you think like that's one question? If you want, okay. On, on the other end, do you think people we should be remaking like old shows and stuff? Um, uh, it's not a difficult question, boys. That's a tough one, Peter. <laughs> that is the most difficult question I've ever heard. I, I meant to understand what I meant. Alright. Like, I've got an answer. answer. Which okay. Don't worry. My answer, I said this literally the other day or two days ago. I, I don't know if it was the genre or if it was Dasty, but I think it was the both of us. But it was, um, I want Glee re like a No, not Glee. I don't want Glee remade. But I want a show like Glee, but just don't done well. Yeah. Oh, and I okay. fucking loved Glee, and it was I... shite. Like, so imagine if it was good, <laughs> you know? I like, ne I never watched Glee, so I don't know what. I don't miss really, it I out. Lot of singing. Yeah, it's the best part. The Until same. they start singing the not good songs. I, I don't know. I don't know, Chief. I don't know about that one. Hey, man, if I could live my life in Glee, that would be so much fun. 
Imagine not having to have a conversation about your emotions and just singing a song. Can't nobody can even deny that that's class. I mean, you, you technically kind of do that. You I do that already, yeah. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> like nobody else does it. Nobody else understands what's going on. So I don't know, man. I'm just trying to live my life as Glee. <laughs> I'll sing for you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Here we go. Not right now. Here's John. Privately. Oh okay. oh, okay. Your real emotions. Yeah. Nice. Well done. Uh, Okay, so on one hand, shows shouldn't be me remade, like fil uh, films, I mean, because <clears throat> it doesn't, it normally doesn't end up doing it justice. But on the other hand, if <clears throat> films, if like things weren't remade and stuff, okay, here's my question: Does like James Bond come under that category? Because there's been a few James Bonds, and like I'm, I'm kind of my mind immediately went to James Bond and Batman because there's been a few James, James Bonds Bond and a few Batmans. They're, they're not remade. The point of James Bond is a different person takes on the mantle as 007. Like, no, but they're all James Bond. They're the same person. Yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't like, say they're like remade. The, a, a criteria for becoming 007 is not be named James Bond. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's. I wouldn't say that's like. Like all of them are James Bond, you know. Like it's as it, like. Like it's not the same storyline as what you're saying. Like. <laughs> yeah, but it's also like it's. It's just good luck, James Bond class. Most. Wait, are you saying that you shouldn't remake James Bond? No, I'm saying they should. I'm saying I like the new James Bonds. I like that they changed the character. Yeah, I like yeah, the okay, Batman, okay. Like, you know, the Christian mm. Bale Batman was really good, but I also liked the Ben Affleck one, and I think I'm willing to give the Robert Pattinson one a try, and, you know, like, George Clooney and all them. I like them. Yeah. Um. But, so, like, if that comes under the category, then, yes, remakes are good. Remakes are yeah. good in some situations. I don't know. Like I feel like remakes are good when it is kind of well, like, well the name something experience. that was remade. Something that was remade. Um. Okay. Ghost. Uh, Ghost. Ghostbusters. That was remade, but it didn't kind of. It Touchy kind subject. Of... No, no. It, it you mean the all female one? Women. Yeah, Terrible. It has none. It has none to do with like. I think it was bad cast. because there was women in it. All right, man. Okay, listen. <laughs> we're, we're putting you in a naughty corner. You need to show up. <laughs> Free, get us all cancelled. I, I had not to do with, like, the actors that were there because the, the individual actors themselves are actually good. I've seen them in other stuff that I'm like, oh, they're, they're actually pretty good and funny. It's just the script wasn't good. The jokes didn't land. It was just kind of a lot of cliché... Do you want to know why? Uh, ...situations. Why? Because it was probably, show, man. Show, it was man, probably written by women as well. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> no. At That's least Chris Hemsworth was in it. Was yeah, he? but like, it, even his character was so shallow. I was like, man, I don't, I, I just, I just didn't get it. it like the humor probably wasn't for me. So, um, from my point of view, I didn't really like it. And I, it, I don't think kind of stuck to kind of the true, the, the original, like they're not the stick like directly to the original material, but just to do it justice. I don't think they kind of did that. So in a way, that remake wasn't good. But that probably has like a it, that it didn't, if it didn't have the, the Ghostbusters logo on it, maybe it would have been it would have done fine. Probably like in a box office or something like that. It was just like once you watch, you kind of realize hey, they're not actually doing the original material um, justice. That's what I think anyway. But see, you would <clears throat> sorry, you would want like literally the, not literally, but like the same thing, like. The same thing as no, Ghostbusters. No, no, I don't want the same thing. It's just kind of like mm. along the same. Like for example, Batman, right? Like, like if they were to like the, with the whole Robert Pattinson Batman. If Batman's parents are still alive, he's a he's a jolly go lucky dude. You're gonna be like, okay, this is not the Batman. Oh, okay, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying like it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but just stick to kind of like the those basics that you have to stick the, to. The, the, yeah, the, yeah, the fundamentals of yeah, this is yeah. why it's a Batman thing. Because otherwise, <laughs> it's just a it's just any other vigilante. It could be yeah, Daredevil, it could just be a dude dressed as a bat, like exactly. Yeah, okay. I get you. That makes sense. Baywatch. Um, I mean, Baywatch, yeah. Did anyone care? It's just sexy people on a beach. Yeah, I, I don't know about that one. I didn't, really, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't really... I don't think I ever really watched the original Baywatch. I just kind of like, whatever, Zac Efron is in it, so I watched it. See what's going on. Because of Zac Efron? 
Zac Efron. Yeah, because he's, he's the only person. He, he was Shut the up, man. Uh, <laughs> Alexandra Daddario, literally. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 but I, no, don't get me wrong. Listen, big man, I'm her biggest fan. Like, to relax, I'm her biggest fan. It was just like, before I had seen her, I didn't know, I, I didn't know anybody else in the film other than him and The Rock. So yeah. them two are the only reason I would go see because the guy looks funny. J Zac Efron and The Rock, they, like, The Rock just bangs. He just never fucking misses. So it's like, I'll just, I'll, I'll see. Yeah, see what happens, and then you know, find my love, Alexander, Alexander Daddario. It was a good film. I liked that. I'm all for Baywatch remakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like remakes. I'll watch anything. I don't care. I, I'm very easily entertained. Even if a film is terrible, I'll enjoy watching it because it's terrible, and I think it's funny that it's really bad. Um, yeah, but it... oh, okay. But uh, I mean, do, but don't remake something. Excuse me. Um, like, for example, I'm just putting this out mm -hmm. there. Hypothetically, yeah. hypothetically, if they remade Iron Man, I wouldn't be on board yeah. for that. No. Right. Thank you very much. It's been done. It couldn't be done better. Leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how far into the future it is. If the year is 2564 2, mm. and they mm. decide, let's remake Iron Man. I'll be like, no thanks. Even though yeah, like eventually, the are they just gonna do that whole thing again? Um. Well, they they've already said that there'll be more Avengers movies. No, no. I mean, I mean, I don't mean like like within like the Russo brothers' lifetime. I mean like like yonks in, into the future. Are they gonna be like? Because you know, like the movies, like they're cla to me, they're gonna be like classics now that we're gonna talk about when we're older. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the same with like. I don't know. I guess you could like Baywatch isn't that classic, but you know what I mean. Like, um, someone could have thought, "Oh man, who's gonna play Pamela Anderson's character better than Pamela An Pamela Anderson?" And then we were like, "Get that bitch in here, whatever her name was, and she'll do it better or or the same." So like in twenty <clears throat> in twenty like sixty four, am I gonna be like? watching an Iron Man movie in the cinema or watching the, another Avengers film based I on mean, that thing because they can't they can't possible. really keep it up like unless it but they could see like there's no way they're gonna stick to the same thing where like you know it's like fucking Iron Man's grandson or something that's playing him that's being I, I don't know you know what I mean I, I, I don't think they're gonna go to the Iron Man grandson but like they're probably they're probably going to remake not remake Iron Man but they're gonna make a new, probably like like a, have a, a successor. New... Yeah, successor. Remember, like no, a yeah, successor supposed to be the the kid in the cave. Yeah, I feel like you're not understanding what I'm saying though. Like I understand that right now, then like the next, there is a next that little kid. You know, he's obviously gonna be the next Iron Man, or it's gonna be his daughter or whatever, or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like I understand yeah. that, but I mean, like when that kid dies, in real life, yeah. you know what I mean? Like when, like as in, are they gonna? do it every single thing again like there'll be spider-man one iron man one like they just restart from captain the america like is there just going to be a hard yeah. reset when they try to do it better and then i'm going to be like he, he didn't play it he's not my steve rogers you know like is that yeah, going to be a that's, thing that's very possible it's very crazy possible. and so it okay it goes i was watching this uh, uh video it was anthony mackie being interviewed and he was saying how, like, although he didn't want to say it because it kind of, you know, pays his bills and kind of is good for him, he didn't like the way Hollywood, he didn't like the, the, the direction Hollywood was going in in terms of, like, remakes and all these, like, blockbuster blockbuster films mm. because it, it kind of incentivized, incentiv I'm paraphrasing here, but it kind of incentivized, like, the, the big companies to kind of keep pumping up the same... Um, the same movie but just adding like two three four like transformers one two three four whatever yeah and it, you, you they it didn't become they weren't making movies anymore like they used to it's they like the opposite of creativity to, yeah, yeah it's, it's all they sequels were, now instead of original movie ideas right they were making movies to play into the, the chinese market because that was oh the biggest whoa <laughs> there was no oh. need to bring a race right. into women is one thing oh, the chinese on. No, I mean, both I'm, can't drive, but one's better than the other. Come on, man. Yeah. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I hope we never have a female <laughs> guest. <laughs> oh, I, I, <laughs> but, 
But th- what he was saying was that um, because they were like the biggest market in the whole like box office situation, they were playing they were playing up to that, and they uh, they loved the Transformers there. They loved like um, uh, like the Avengers and everything, stuff like that. They sequelized it, and it it became like almost mechanical to kind of just churn these movies out. You fucked it up. Like I don't I don't I don't that's, think that's I am. something that an autistic person would say, Peter. I, I Always just, deny it at them artists. <laughs> it's it's just like No, I, I understand, like, yeah. All the I feel like everybody just talks and and just doesn't they don't understand. think about it. They don't yeah, understand what they're saying, yeah. And, 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 then, and then even to like even to move away from America, it's to show like it's a universal thing. Another situation where it annoyed me was the whole Caroline Flack. Legend. If you you don't shut your bitch ass up. I don't say anything. <laughs> You're like, man, when she when she killed when she unfortunately passed, mm-hmm. everybody was like, "Oh, we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't bully people on the internet. All this bullshit." And the next week, back on their thing. Mm. Yeah, I get that. People, and it's like people just don't want to realize that they're, they're they're all hypocrites. They all have a moral system that they don't adhere to. Listen, man, that's very true. It's, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like when there's a thing like that, it's kind of like, um, uh, I don't know what it's kind of like. But whenever there's a big thing, everybody seems kind of into it, and then people just get bored of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, people just like being angry, and, uh, before she died, she probably did something wrong, and then they could get angry at her, so that that was when the bullying happened. And then after, uh, they blamed the tabloids. They just wanted to get angry at that. You know, it's just people yeah. just want to be angry. That's it. It's not like they don't care what, what it's about, really. You know, like, uh... yeah, I don't know. It happens all the time. It's I cool. just don't... Shout out to the I humans. Don't... <laughs> I, don't, I don't get how people just don't like... If you don't like something, or you don't like somebody, or you don't like the way they did something, as long as it's not like illegal or something like that, yeah. why can't you just leave it? Ignore it. Just You don't have to say anything. You don't have to do anything. Just leave it. And then move on. Like, with the whole Caroline Flack situation, right? If people were annoyed, you, you could have voiced your opinion and be like, it's fucked up what she did. She shouldn't have done that. That is... a about as much as anybody else had the right to say. Nobody yeah. else had the right to attack her, a right to say anything else other than that. It was fucked up what she did. She sh- shouldn't have done it. Nobody else has the right to, to talk anymore after that. But then people going after personal attacks, stuff like that. I'm like, and then as soon as she passed, they all ha- kind of have like, is it, I mean, you know that, uh, what's that mean? Eric Andre, you know that meme where he shoots himself. It's like, why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's exactly that. They, they all... They all attack her, and then as soon as she died, they're, they're looking for somebody in the circle to blame. And yeah, because like, they can't them. blame themselves. Yeah, they can't blame themselves. So because much, yeah, so it was it was obviously the tabloid's fault as not yeah you know as well like it wasn't only yeah. their fault. Meanwhile, ten minutes ago they tweeted, "Man, I wish Caroline Black killed herself." You know, like it's oh, it's just kind of stupid, man. The humans it's... just so, people just get so caught up in things. It's ridiculous. And then it's always the wrong things as well, like mm. such stupid shit that's just been I don't know, man, passed down from stupid people. Like all I want is consistency. If you're a dick, just be a dick. Yeah. I, I just want to know that you're consistent. I can't stand the flippity fl- floppity bullshit it doesn't like, it, it's just so stupid to me yeah just stick to a point if you've made a point stick to it yeah and, you tweet and out that i that i that you think i should kill myself and then i kill myself i want to tweet two minutes later saying good i don't want you know some what? bullshit of of oh no fuck everyone who made fun of him i want someone saying yeah fuck that guy dude thank god he's gone I, I, like you're never that, that person is ever gonna get oh wow you're a good person but at least the one thing you can say is they're not consistent. Yeah, he they knows are. who he is. Fair enough. You have you have something. You have that at least. You're consistent, and that is more than most people can say. And when you talk to them, and you realize that everyone is, is it makes it makes you feel like an idiot. It makes me feel like an idiot when I when 
when I'm trying to talk to somebody, or I'm trying to understand someone's point of view, and they're not consistent, what am I talking about? What are we here for? Yeah, I don't know. Shout out to the human race, man. This is why we should um, this is why you should just talk to dogs. Just chill. Yeah, just chill with animals, man. Yeah. Because at least you know where you fucking stand with them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they like you. Or you don't, man. Depending on whether you're giving them food, so. Yeah. But um. But yeah, shout out to um. Shout out to HelloFresh for sponsoring this episode. Shut up, bro. <laughs> had free meals, with free delivery <laughs> using code Caroline Flack. Okay. Stop. Um. I'm gonna ask what what has anno- like, I I just went on a rant of what has, what has annoyed me over this week. So what has annoyed you this week? <laughs> um. I got annoyed at loads of things, man. Okay, go on then. Um, I I don't know if I can talk about them. Um, talk, okay, anything is kind of like ex- maybe conceptual or. Oh, I, I don't have scenario. that big of a brain, man. Um, <laughs> what has annoyed me? Yeah. General day day to day living. Mm-hmm. That annoys me. Fair enough. I guess. I just kind of wake up and then wish it was the next day. Do you ever do that? No. But then the next day, you would then wish it's the next day. Like, it doesn't, nothing's on the next day. It's just, you just don't want to, you know. Deal with the day. Deal with the day, yeah. You just kind of want to be in bed all the time. That's what I've been doing lately. It's pretty good. Never finished my puzzle. It, it, I'm going to get on it, though, man. I'm go- I, yeah, the 4,000 one. I, I, wait, the, no, we haven't had a podcast since then, have we? I, um, I was like, the, the, the day after I got it, I was like, right, I'm doing it. So I got it all out, and I was sifting through. I sifted through the 4,000 pieces to get all the side pieces. I was like, I'll get them first, then put them together, and then I can start building inwards, because that's obviously just how you're meant to do a puzzle. Yeah. And, um, yeah, sifted through the 4,000 pieces, took out all the side pieces, went to put them together. I was missing so many. It was outrageous. <laughs> like, I wasn't even close. <laughs> like, I was like, let's say with 4,000, let's say on the outside, there's about what, how many would be on the outside? Like, two, four, six, like, like I would say over 100 pieces. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would say I had about 50. It was just fucking a disaster, <laughs> like. <laughs> and then I was like, fuck this, I'm putting it back in the box. So I have, but I but I split it up. I have the side pieces that I found in a box, in one end of the box and the other pieces in the other. So I'll have to mm. just sit through it again. But I mean, I'll get it done eventually. Don't worry, and and. And it'll be an Easter egg somewhere in the ne- in a podcast. But um, yeah, fucking hell, man, that that, that pissed me off that I didn't do it because I'm very like I'm just unmotivated to do anything these days. College yeah. is pissing me off. I I can't do it. How's college been annoying you? Oh, it's just I just I just can't do it, man. Even when I was there, I couldn't do it. So God forbid, or God help me if they think I'm doing it at home, like. One one thing I would, like I would say about me and you, Adam, is that we've had such an unlucky run for education. Life. No. Oh yeah, it's true. <laughs> because like with the the uh, the secondary school we went to was trash, right? It wasn't good. Mm-hmm. And when it came when it finally comes to us going to college, like the fact we've made it to college is actually oh, miracle, it's a right? miracle, because, yeah. Like, knowing the the circumstances we came from, but then um hello. Like, no, yeah. Oh, he's back. My oh, he's back. Uh, my apologies. My uncle came over. I had to. He was asking questions about cryptocurrencies. Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice, nice. Um. um I uh, I realized halfway through my conversation with him that I had deafened myself, so I didn't pick up anything until. Like if you, I was like, oh shit! Like maybe they kept going, and I'm just after deafening, and it didn't record. Like. Oh. oh. Bro, we but it was it was long. like we were talking for so long. It was like ah, oh, it was like five minutes maybe, and then I undeafened myself and just turned off my headset. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah, I got be... I got most of it like, but oh, it probably okay. just come came. All right, back. it'll be fine. Then, yeah, we whatever talked it is, about one thing and but... then we talked about another. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. Whatever, whatever it is, I'll review the footage later of what we got and what we didn't yeah. get, and I'll and I'll figure it out. Uh, okay. Anyway, yeah. Continue um, what you were talking about. 
Yeah, it was just saying like, we've we've had a very unlucky run with like with education because like our secondary school just wasn't it, and we finally you know broke through and made it to college. Great, and I'm talking to other like where I'm working. I'm talking to other students as well, and I'm talking to them about like you know their college and how you know when COVID hit, how was their college's response? Because that was like a topic of conversation we all have to talk about. And they were like, oh yeah, we were we were off for like the the week. And by like the second or third day, we were told, okay, we're not probably we're probably not gonna be back for the rest of the year, and to and to prepare for um to prepare for uh, college at home, you know, studying from home and stuff. Mm. So they knew going into it. And I was saying to them, no, we had like two weeks off because cause I think it was a slow, or it was like a study week or something. Or we had a week off, and I was saying to them, by like the Sunday, I still didn't know if I had to get up <laughs> yeah. on Monday to go back to college. Like, that was how, like, they sent a message probably Sunday evening at, like, 8 or 9 o'clock being like, oh, by the way, we're going back to, um, we're going to online learning for the rest of the year. We had no clue what was happening on, like, the day before. Yeah. And that's just, like, just an unlucky one. And that type of shit, when there's no communication, it really does kind of make you not want to, um... You just not motivated. You don't want to do anything. No, you're just kind of yeah. like, oh, fuck, you kind of like, fuck this, whatever. I just sort of feel like, even when we were in college, I wasn't very motivated to do things, but I felt like once I was there, I might, like, I had nothing better to do, so I might as well have went to the lectures, and I might as well have, you know, like, yeah. maybe I had to wait for a bus or whatever, and I had two hours to wait for a bus, so I was like, oh, well, I might as well do my, do whatever work I have to do, you know, do this assignment while I have the time, while yeah. I'm waiting to get home, like, whereas now I'm just like, Man, fuck that, I'd rather just play Valorant. Like, it's just what's the mm. point in doing it? So I'm just fucking struggling right now. Yeah, I it. agree. I I used to do all of my work on campus. Like, I yeah. go to the library between classes. I go after, like, before mm. I go home, things like that. It's super hard to do my work at home. It's just Is so he... boring. Like, it's it's I don't know. With, with me, I was quite the opposite, right? In that. If I was in college, I was whenever I'm in college, I'm here every day to take notes. And as soon as like my notes are t- were done, and like like my assignment, I I took like the assignment down and wrote down what I need to write down. My in my free time, I was like you know chilling with my mates. Probably I was probably going to play basketball. I was go, like go, just you know chilling. And then as soon as I got home, it was when I started to do my work because I I was like. At home was I, I was like kind of made to to focus on okay, Grant. Like this is my own time. There's no outside influence. There's no one being like, oh, let's go chill. Let's go do this. I'm kind of like, like, it's, and it's nighttime. I I like to do my work mostly around the night, like in the AM, yeah. because it's dark. There's no there's no way I can think of ah, you know, let me go for a run or ah, let me go like you know for a walk or let me just go play basketball or something like that. Because because it's dark, there's nothing to do, there's no way I'm leaving the house, let me get, get my work done. And I, and then when I'm focused, I get done like two, three hours. But it was just kind of having that like routine of knowing where I was going to be Monday till, till Friday. Kind of that, when that was kind of ripped away from underneath from underneath us. Like other other schools had like, you know, a week or two to kind of, uh, like a few, uh, not necessarily a week, but a few days yeah. to prepare for knowing that they're not going back into um, college and stuff. We kind of had a rip from underneath us because on the sunday i was preparing to go to college the next day i'm probably, probably going to get a mask or something like that i was preparing to go and you know it's kind of ripped from underneath me being like my routine's not fucked your whole routine yeah. is gone and you're on your own make sure you do this and you'll be fine and then like in that in that space i had to try and find like you know an internship find all that and then like you're like I, but you're left on your own you have nobody to talk to the only way you can talk to people from there is emails and i'm telling you right now it's like people are allergic to their emails nobody no, Response who the fuck checks anything. your school email? Like, what the fuck? It's just it's a useless fucking feature that I'm never going to look at. Like, it's just, there's no, I don't understand that. They just don't have some form of, I don't know, man. Like, I don't even, do you do you guys even get notifications on your phone when you get a school, school email? Yeah, I do. Yeah, but I, I get, I, I get like 10 billion of them. I get one yeah. 15 minutes before every it's single like, lecture I, I go to. Have... I get ones that are just useless, like, and then I have two emails as well because I have one for placement and one for college. So I yeah. get I get mm-hmm. double the amount of emails, like, and I just don't, like, if I look at my Outlook right now, I have 297 unread emails. <laughs> yeah. Because I get yeah, so yeah. many. It's no, just so stupid, like. The communication is good. And I, I've, I've been learning recently, like, uh, from, like, because I'm in a group chat with, 
just the people from my course, like a pretty big one, like the majority of the years in it. And um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, they they were talking about some fucking five hundred word assignment that was due pretty like pretty soon, and then everyone was mm -hmm. like, like what are you talking about? Like what what fucking thing? And he's like, yeah, he said it. He said it in the lecture. He said like no, there's been no like nothing put up about it to say oh by the mm. way you have to do this just in case you missed it like now it's just like oh no yeah like you have to hand uh, email this shit to me by whatever date and i'm like i'm just not gonna do it like because you didn't put it in a fucking any form of notification that i would get like i mean i know i should be re that is ridiculous though watching the lectures but just but you can't off. even if you are watching the lectures you can't be expected to pay attention to every single word the guy yeah, says or whatever stupid man I don't understand. Like, I watch lectures, you know, I watch lectures, but I also get up to pee, like. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just fucking crazy College stuff. is dumb. It is dumb. It's, it was done if, before it was online, to be it honest. Was dumb. Don't go to college, guys. It was guys. always dumb. Go to, <laughs> I don't know, go do something else. Make a, make a podcast. Make a podcast earlier on in life. <laughs> Honestly. Okay, John. Yeah? John. I'm going to ask you the same question. Oh, here what's we go. What's pissed you off this week? What's pissed me off? No, it's just... It's just yeah, what you, what, what's pissed you off this week? Other than college? No, it, no yeah, other than college. Um, because well, like, let me like, think. The best conversations when people are annoyed. Um, What's pissed me off is... God, man. I can't think of anything that's pissed me off this week. Friday has taken a long time to come round. True, man. We talk about this every week. Yeah. I mean, I was talking to Adam on Tuesday, and he was like, is it Friday yet? <laughs> man, all I wanted is <laughs> to be Friday, man. It's um, the best day. No, I'll tell you what pisses me off, and it kind of has a little bit to do with just being interrupted. Esty. Okay. No, my... Stop. Yo, stop talking at my boy. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I keep getting phone calls from my uncle asking me what's wrong with his phone and stuff <laughs> i'm like i don't know man and then he's like he's like i can't get into my email like will you log into my email and i'm like yeah what how is that gonna help you <laughs> if i'm in your email like then i'm just looking at your emails <laughs> it's stupid like You're people people who are technologically system. challenged are they just annoy me so much like just learn <laughs> Just learn yeah. about it, forehead, you know? Absolute smooth brain. <laughs> that pisses me off unnecessarily. Like, I, he literally rang me at like yeah. 10 o'clock this morning and I had been up until 4 o'clock last night or whatever. Well, it wasn't, I don't know if it was mm. quite 4 o'clock. It was kind of late though. I was slumped and yeah. I get a phone call and he's like, he's like, I can't log into this app. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> I can't sleep with you and you calling me. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> yeah. Get a better phone. That's the other thing. He comes at me with his, his uh, 60 euro touchscreen phone that he thinks is yeah. good is as good as my thousand euro iPhone 11 Pro. like. <laughs> and he's like, why is my phone slow? I'm like, because you're cheap. <laughs> Oh man, that annoys me so much. And then his kids put like, uh, you know, uh, like Fortnite dance emotes app on his phone. He's like, my phone slowed down. I'm like, yeah, you've got, you know, you've got like BMX Racer 34 <laughs> downloaded, like, and playing in the background. Uh, I don't know. People who are technologically challenged piss me off all the time. Um. What else pissed me off? My mom bought two movies uh, on my card on the Apple TV because Josh Dumel was in them. Um, it's Josh Dumel. You don't know Josh Dumel? He's in Transformers. He's the soldier from Transformers. Josh? Dumel. D U H A M E L. He's not even in the suggested, man. You'll recognize du him. Do Hamill. Yeah. No, I don't it's know. It's like Do Hamill. He uh, he hosted the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards one year. Because I watch them all the time. I'm just saying, uh, he's pretty famous. He's a he's a fairly famous actor. He'd be, he'd be up there. 
I thought. Oh, I've got it. I know what pisses me off all the time. Literally every <laughs> week, every single day, I think about this. I should have okay. seen A Quiet Place Part 2 by now. I should have seen Black Widow <laughs> by now. The cinema, I haven't been in the cinema in a long time. When Tenet came out, I went to see it twice. Because <laughs> I, I, it was an opportunity to go to the cinema. And it was a really good film. I just, I miss the cinema so much. The cinema was like the thing that I did. I went at least like once a week and I just haven't been able to go and it's really annoyed me. And it's not even that, um, that I can't go to the cinema anymore. It's that there's nothing new to watch anymore. Like it's, you know, everything's on pause. I really hope that once this is over, they flood the cinema with every single movie ever. And I I can just go like twice a day and watch something new like... You, but the thing is, right, after this is, like, done, I don't think the cinema's ever going to be the same again. I don't know if, like, the cinema... Ah, uh, you know what they could? I no, think I, I think they will. I yeah, that. I think they will be the same. You know, like, if things like... if things like y- Yeah, but, like, you know... But the other thing is, with that logic, you know, like, nightclubs can't reopen, and uh, oh, concerts can't are... be the same, and, you know... Like, I, I think things will actually go back to the way they were. They won't go back to, like, a safer version of the way they were. I think things will literally go back to the exact same. I don't think they will. I don't think it'd be possible after, like, the whole world kind of shut down. This. Like, I feel like certain things might go back. Like, you know, concerts might come back because you're, although you're all together, it's kind of more, it's open air. So in people's minds, it's kind of like, oh, you're fine, probably. But, like, nightclubs, there is not a chance that's no. going to back and it's going to be like completely fine again like, yeah. and even if it comes back fine again no not everybody like the majority of people are not going to go so the, the the nightclubs they're gonna they're not going to see like a point in opening it's going to be like one of those nights out in minute on like a wednesday or like a or like a like a tuesday where fucking nobody no on like a saturday fucking nobody's out it's just a little pub some dude is behind there and it's like you and eight other people that is the max i feel it's gonna happen there's really? no chances I really, f- I don't feel. I think it's I just s- gonna become a, like COVID's just gonna become a normal thing. Like if I go to a nightclub, I could technically get gonorrhea, but I mean that doesn't mean it's closed down, you know? Like yeah, but but I think it's, it's just not, gonna it's become not a thing th- where it's it's a normality. It's like like yeah, but I like it's just gonna become a thing where it's like every year. It's like the fucking flu. Like you just have to get a a vaccine every year, and I mean I don't, but. You know, like, it's just one of those things and you're just it's just going to be in the world and we're just going to have to live with it. Like, obviously, we're not going to have the same amount of cases because there's more people going to be vaccinated and stuff like that. Yeah, but, but uh, I don't yeah. think people will even be counting yeah, the but, cases, but, at least not nationally. No, like, yeah, no. And stuff, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, but, that's the, I know that. Yeah. No, I think they're still... Yeah, I mean, they'll probably... I think for yeah, the flu, they'll keep they, an eye on it, yeah. Flu, even for the flu, they still count the cases, like, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, well, he means it's not going to be like on the, on the news. They're not going to be like yeah. seven hundred more cases. Okay. Like, like, like I'm not going to know how many new cases there's going to be. Yeah, fair, but I'm not necessarily saying it's going to be more. I don't think it's going to be. I would like to. Okay, I would like to think people are more sensible than that, and they're not going to think that COVID is the only possible threat. Like this is kind of maybe like a. I want this to be like a kind of like a warning shot in people's heads of like this is so. If this was. If this was as infectious as it is now and was as deadly as like Ebola, we'd all be fucked. Mm. We'd be all fucked. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot. Of pe- I'm hoping anyway that a lot of people are gonna be a lot more sensible than that and realize that this is just a, a precursor to something that could come and that's a lot worse. So we should have a lot of these kind of um, uh, these kind of like uh, safety measures built in to ev- like like every every shopping center there should be like a decent. Uh, Hand sanitizing uh, stations. What's the word? Sorry. Uh, yeah, hand sanitizing station everywhere. There should there should just be because it's nasty. There should just be that place. People, yeah. you shouldn't you you shouldn't ha- maybe you shouldn't have to wear a mask, but it should be socially normal for people to wear a mask if they're just walking about the place. Maybe if you yeah. want to go if you go for a walk, people should just you know fuck yeah wear a mask today. Like stuff like that where like just to just to make, just to kind of uh, you know lessen the chance of uh, disease spreading because if I'm because we've even with COVID, let let alone anything new, even with COVID, we've already seen th- th- uh, three mutations. There was one in England that was more, more infectious. That's here one now. In, um, as well. Yeah, that, that's here now. There's one in South Africa and one in some other African country as well. That was, was like, Book I think Africans. it was Kenya. 
Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was the African women, um, too. <laughs> probably, man. <laughs> Driving on the wrong side of the road. Um, Disclaimer, we don't actually dislike women. Or well, Africans. Women dislike me, that's why I dislike them. That's your problem. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds like a you problem, big man. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Those, I think all three of those mutations just made it more infectious. It, 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 it's just one, it's just one step away from becoming more deadly. And like, we're, we're going to see the number drop from, uh, we're going to see the number increase from like hundreds, like hundreds of thousands to millions straight away. If the, if the, the, uh, what was the word? If the, uh, what am I thinking of? Like, if it, it becomes more lethal. So oh, it becomes okay. more lethal. Yeah, if, if it becomes more lethal and it has the same level of infection, like we're all, it's got, it's gonna be game over. So like, I feel like to stop the thing from kind of evolving, we've all p played Plague. We all seen that. Yeah, I was just thinking <laughs> that. Just, I love playing that's... Plague, and I'm really yeah. good at it too. It is like if I wanted to kill the whole human race, fuck it, I'm going to Madagascar. I'm start Madagascar, make it hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do it on like the hardest thing to. I do it on like bio robots or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I let's do like, a play. Let's like do a let's play of plague, and we'll call it um COVID. Jeez, and upload it. See what people think about it. Uh, we'll what get you so um, yeah, I feel like a lot of those um like a lot of big massive social events and all that. I I feel it's gonna be a long while before people start to go back to kind of normality. Uh, and it's just, and once we get back to proper, proper normality, it's gonna be a matter of time before something more, you know, something bigger comes back again. So, I feel like this is kind of a warning shot, and and, and a pretty like deadly warning shot at that. So, once something more big, like I feel like we should, you know, take this uh, warning and like you know, learn from it. But yeah, people but people won't. are stupid. Yeah, no. That's people... a, I think that's like a, we we just had a whole like. Like five, uh, ten minute rant about how dumb people are. Yeah. And like, so um, of course they're not going to. And and money as well as a thing. Like I don't think pubs and clubs yeah. close down just because of the amount of money they must make every Saturday and the amount of money they're gonna make when they open oh, back. Like it's man. it's gonna be nuts. Like, if I had any sort of capital, I would invest almost all of it into, um, like, any nightclub or whatever. Because as soon it's kind of like it's a rubber band effect. Or like festivals. Know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a rubber band effect. You're holding, yeah. holding people back so much from, like, going out and all that. Like, n not because, like, you just try to be a dick from holding back, because they kind of have to for their own safety. As soon as, like, like the, the vaccine is, like, more readily, like, uh, available, everybody's got everything, it's kind of like COVID has become kind of like a... It's not as big a deal anymore. Once all the shops start to open, you're just letting go of that rubber band. Everybody's going to pubs. Everybody's going to nightclubs. Even I'm us. going to a pub. Yeah, I'm yeah. Here. We're not I'm being like there. hypocritical here. We're like, yeah. Oh like, well, we are. No, we are. We, but you, you know what I mean. Like it's. No, yeah, I know what you mean. Like, too. yeah, but that, like in terms of like, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wear a mask. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go. Yeah. I wanna see. I wanna see my family. I wanna see my friend. Like, I'm not family. I'm gonna see my family at the pub. I'm gonna see my friend, <laughs> right? But like, I'm not. I'm not necessarily going because I want to. Um, you know, I don't know mingle with everybody stuff like that and I'm, it's, I, I might go out once or twice to see my see my friends and, and, and you know and my peeps yeah sit but, at a table with us away from yes, other people like yeah ex yeah it's, it's, it's pretty much gonna be it's, it's pretty much gonna, it's gonna be how it was whenever we could meet up during the covid whenever yeah. we could meet up during the COVID, it's gonna be it's gonna be exactly like that but like um but now we can actually go inside and be indoors and like chill and chill but i'm not gonna go out every weekend to like a place where it's not safe, ship not the face off young ones. Like, what's the point? I, but like, yeah. I know a lot of people are gonna go back to doing that, and that that becoming a regular. And I don't want to judge them for it because I'm like, like I we did it. You know what I'm saying? Because we went out, we didn't we did it mm. beforehand. It's gonna I mean, be kind of shitty for me to judge them for doing something I used to do. But at the same time, like big man, you gotta care, but you gotta like worry about your health. Like it's not yeah. like it's not like an STD or something where. Like if you kiss the wrong person, you got it. This is in the air. You you could just walk in and walk out, and you got it. Yeah. Just open the cinemas. Leave the nightclubs closed. Open the cinemas. You know what? Play. I hope doesn't change. What? Urinals, man. Yes. Forcing a space changed. between urinals is the best thing to ever happen to the world. 
Oh, yeah, but but, but no, but no, I no, but, but, I, I I refuse, I refuse that, I refuse that because what? Oh, well, you like you like some e dude? No, 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 him, him, because every man knew not to do that. Yeah, there but, never but you see, that. but there was, there was always, always that one seven. guy. There was always that one guy that would pick you out. He was like, I'm gonna go stand beside this guy. Or if there wasn't any space, you know, like you're forced there or whatever. Now. Yeah. There's just not even a choice for it, and you can just pick a stall and be like, "Man, this is fucking class." Yeah, I'm on Adam's side here. Oh, that shows that 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 is that was honestly the best thing to ever happen to the world, and I'm I'm sticking by that. You can come at me with any yet anything else, you know? They yeah. could cure cancer, and I'd be like, "Yeah, but the urinals, man, that's where it's at." No, shut up. Fair. Fair. I, what, I don't want back, I, what I don't want back, what I don't want back is like, um, I'm kind of happy if like uh, handshakes go away. I don't want to touch anybody's hands, yeah, especially if I just bring back met fist them. bumps. Yeah, in it. No, not even. Just like, hey, that's good enough. Yeah. I don't want to touch you, big man. You don't want to touch me. I'm we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna go about our day. I agree. Mm -hmm. you do you guys? You, Peter? Do you guys feel dirty? I, mean, I know now? you, so it's, that's different. Like I know you, so like it does, I'm talking about strangers. Yeah, so. but I'm make, I'll make it weird. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? There's no way you could make it weird. There's oh, nothing you haven't yes, done. I could, then. There's, I'll be there's no, nothing you haven't done before. Like it'd be fun. There, there's no way you can make it weird. Every, anything you can think of, you or Carl have done. Challenge before. accepted. <laughs> I see how this goes then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, John, you were saying? Do you guys feel like uh, like you're more aware of what you're touching and stuff? Yep. Like, like okay, so I, I have my TV in my room up here and that's fine. Like, I'm the only one that touches the controllers and stuff. When I go downstairs mm -hmm. and I'm trying to, like, change the channel on the TV remote on tv down there where like my mom mm. is and my sister and stuff i can literally feel like the the grime <laughs> on it i'm like who, mm. i'm like what kind of a nasty ass fucking degenerate <laughs> was touching this remote that i can like yeah. it's you know i might as well put olive oil on this goddamn bitch because it's just greasy and i always like so I've, I've even gotten into the habit of pulling up my sleeve and pressing the buttons Oh my god, I can't stop burping. I need to stop drinking this Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. Pulling up my sleeve and pressing the buttons like with my sleeve thing. Yeah. And so that I don't actually touch the remote because it's just gross. And then sometimes mm -hmm. my sister comes in to play the PlayStation in my room because yeah. uh, you know, she has the PS4 in there and I have the PS5 in here. And um well, after she's done, I like the I the remote feels gross to me. Even though it's not mm. really actually different, like that's different from the remote downstairs because I think the remote downstairs is actually disgusting. Whereas <laughs> you know, I think in my head the PlayStation yeah. remote is disgusting after she uses it, and I I actually wipe it down and stuff afterwards. Even though she's my sister, and if she has it, then I definitely have it also. Yeah, uh, because we're in close yeah, proximity. Yeah, yeah. But it's just gross. I don't like it. It feels unnatural to me. Maybe it's like a touch I, I, of OCD or some shit. I'm not sure. I no, I, I completely get that. Like I I remember it was um I I, I think it's a bit like just a bit like anxiety and because you're you, because you're thinking of it you now make it's uh you now make it a thing that you're like oh fuck like I have to remember I touched this or whatever. So um I live like a like a ten minute walk away from like Dons from me and that's why I usually tend to go get my groceries. I'm like oh whatever and I was walking up there and it was raining. I was walking up there, and my sh like I got to the dunes. Uh, I walked into the shopping center. I had my mask on, everything, and I was like, "Wow, there's a, there's a bit more people here. There's a bit more people here than usual." But, but it was raining now, so I assume most people just standing inside just to wait for the rain to kind of you know uh, go. And I was walking up. My shoe, my shoes was untied, and there there was um and and for some reason, no, sorry, I'll get to that in a second. I'm walking up. My shoe is untied, and there's a bench. So I go over to to uh, to like lean on the bench for a bit to just like. Uh, uh, to just tuck my shoelaces into my shoe and I touched a bit of the bench and it was wet now it's most likely the rain but I'm sitting there I'm like I, I don't I, I couldn't go into the to Dunn's to pick up my groceries because I'm touching it now with this like dirty hand dude's got a bench know, hand yeah it's got a bench hand and I was like okay do you know what it's 
camp, I'll just go, you know, get uh, hand sanitizer just to make sure. And I go to the, the section at the at the begin at the start of the dons where there's hand sanitizer. The station it wasn't working. Again, out of order. And I'm like, bet. So now I'm st- I'm st- st- stood there in dons for like two minutes just thinking. I walk. I went back home. I couldn't get groceries. I just didn't want to. <laughs> t- I cu- I couldn't do it. So I walked back home. I, I came ten minutes back home, washed my hands, and then I ordered my groceries online. Yeah, I would have done the same thing to be, to be honest. To be brought to be brought to me. You would have done the same thing because I'm lazy. You wouldn't I, have I gone just, in I... the first place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah fair. I just starved, to be honest. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just couldn't do it. Uh, oh. But, I, yeah, I notice that a lot. Like, even when I'm going outside for, like, my door handle. Once I close my door handle, I'm like, did somebody touch my door? I just, like, pff, nobody has. But, like, you, you just have to think about it too much. You no, get in your own head a bit, but... I'm, I'm, I'm more obvious stuff yeah sure like if i'm actually mm. outside like nothing in my house like i'll touch whatever in my house mm. and then like if i'm outside or in the shop or whatever or like you know going down some stairs like i'm not gonna ha- hold the rail or or whatever but i, I wasn't really into that before even before COVID, like touching rails and and shit like that like i would try avoid it um because it's go- gross regardless of COVID. like it's you yeah. know icky but um but no, I wouldn't. I, I I'm not like crazy about everything, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I guess I'm a bit different. But um, I probably should be, to be honest. It's just better for you to be it. Like everyone's complaining about how you know they have to, you know, be more careful and stuff about this. But it just should be the way you are anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like obviously not. Yeah. Just, you know, people can be overly cleany and, and shit like that, and it you know becomes a detriment to their life. But I think I think uh I think we definitely just need to just be a little bit more safer with what you're touching and shit. Or who you're touching, man. There's some dirty bastards out there. <laughs> but there always was. Like <laughs> yeah. that, that, that and stuff you you grab you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like on the bus, like I would try not to touch the seat on a bus. Yeah, that's Dirt gross. Bus. Yeah. You see but one thing I was That's why I got a car. <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh, good investment. Um, one thing I was thinking about the other day that kind of like annoyed, that kind of like fucked with me a bit was that like we're not going to be able to make a lot of memories like before. Yeah. You know, like I, I, I can't like, for example, the night you you got assaulted, that can't happen ever again now. Well, I'll make it happen. I mean, it is. To be fair, it could. With my luck, it one hundred percent will happen. <laughs> it, but yeah, okay. Fair, but to be fair, it shouldn't. And I'm happy <laughs> yeah. not to be getting it. <laughs> but like, you know, nowadays, like if that happened now, we're like, fuck, we'd get detested or like, we'd like, oh shit, yeah. you know what I mean? So, a lot. It, it, I feel like this whole COVID shit will kind of ru- like ruin the chance of making a lot more like fun. Yeah, ruin the chance memories. of me being assaulted. Yeah, that's great, Peter. That's that's awesome. No, not ruin the chance of you getting assaulted. Like, but like, you know? for example, now, like, remember during like, last year's summer before one of our mates staked on us, like, good go. Um, <laughs> when we were supposed to go on like a last holiday, right? Yeah, we were going to uh, Amsterdam. Uh, Amsterdam, right? Um, there was talks of us going to uh, what, was it Magaluf or Ibiza or some shit? We were thinking of cause before yeah, we came. Yeah, that, that was meant to be Amsterdam. this year. I feel like. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We were we were planning a basically like eighteen years into the future of all the places we were gonna go, and I, yeah. the choices were kind of between like a. Amsterdam and then like one of the proper lads holiday places like Magaluf or Ibiza or you know them sort of places like that you see but now I feel like I missed out on that because beforehand you could go the only thing I had to worry about was getting STDs and yeah yeah whereas but now like, we're gonna be going and being scared to talk to people and missing talk out on to people you know what I'm saying we're gonna be missing out a little bit like stuff like that is gonna take a while before people are like I'm comfortable now with the risk you yeah know? Or like uh, once a lot of people get it and like most and most people get over it, when and when they gone over it the first time they're gonna be like okay now I'm comfortable with the risk of getting it again yeah. or something like that. It's just, or I mean uh, once I guess that that'll play into the um, vaccine as well. I think once are you guys gonna get the vaccine or no? Not now. No, I, like right now I don't need it because I don't need like I, I'm in my house. I don't I don't need to go anywhere, so I don't really need yeah, it. Yeah, but right like now. in the future, like oh yeah, hundred percent. Like, like when your turn comes, like I don't think you yeah, go to a thing comes, and like, you register. You can't get it now. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think you, you, there's no no I there's think... no registering. It's you'll get an yeah uh, you get a notification or a, call or a phone call or something. 
yeah. and they'll say, look, come in on this date if you want it. If not, piss off. Like, and yeah. that's oh. just the way it's gonna be. Because for now, it's for now it's the people who need it, the people who are most vulnerable, and the people who take care of the people who are most vulnerable yeah. are all yeah. getting it. Then it'll yeah. it'll go into again. It's 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 the same, you know, with bringing back like schools is most important and you know stuff like mm. that and sort of the hospitals is most important so that's all going to be it's going down in a list of like we are literally the the least vulnerable people well, not the least obviously anyone under 18 is vulnerable the most vulnerable but we are amongst the least vulnerable and least important yeah. to get so we will be a couple of the last to get it yeah so it's it is going to be a while but um yeah once yeah once it, once i get a text message yeah fuck it why not yeah like, yeah i just don't i like i I, I mean, it'll know, be a while. Understand. Yeah, no, I, I, like, John, are you going to get it? Because I don't want to... Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah right. I, I would prefer if one of you didn't want it, because I would want to just talk. I don't understand why people are like, no. It makes no sense. Do you know uh, what I mean? Who was like, I talking I, to? I, can... I was talking to, uh, who was I talking to? I was talking to one of my friends, um, and he said that his mom works in a she's like a nurse of some description right. i'm not exactly sure what kind of a nurse she is and she got yeah. the vaccine mm-hmm. but he said that she works with people who are, are the same job as her that said no mm. even though they're i think it might be a like an old age nurse type thing like a carer mm-hmm. type thing I'm not 100 yeah. percent sure um uh, he he does he knows about the podcast so you know correct me if I'm wrong next time I'm talking to you if you watch this far in, um, mm. and that I don't understand because if you're caring for somebody, you definitely should. But he said yeah. that their excuse was they wanted to wait and see if anything happened to the people that did take it, as if. Mm scientists the around the world would yeah. be like let's give out this vaccine that we didn't test that you know has a 50 50 chance to kill people yeah it just, you know? I don't, it's it so just it's so stupid okay. i don't so, know i will i will play devil's advocate on this part adam because then mm-hmm. you say you want to you have a little conversation but i'll play devil's advocate oh, before we go into that I can have... i just say one thing no. yeah, go for it. i have 310 emails and outlook <laughs> i got 13 I since like... i said it they're all notifying you like, hey, you got a message in Moodle. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so. Anyway. Yeah. yeah so, sorry. I have to say that. Go on. No, no worries. Um, Adam, I, I had a conversation with somebody about this before, and I was like, I was trying to understand their point of view, and to their to their credit, they, although in my head they went from one to two to three to fucking five and skipped four, I did, yeah. I could I could somewhat get where they were coming from, so I kind of respected their their opinion. So, I'll I'll be them and, and pretty much describe what they were uh, arguing against. And they were saying how, because I kind of had similar uh, fears at the beginning, was that with usual vaccines, the, the vaccines take years before, like, I, I, yeah, years before they're like properly, um, you know, introduced into this into the um, I wouldn't say years. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say at least a year. Mm-hmm. At least a year of proper testing before they get into you know into circulation. There's there's no way that like uh, there's going to be any um, backlash or um, any negative about it because they pretty much test it. If you if you get like a negative reaction from it, you're like in like a zero point zero one percent. Yeah, it's almost negligible the amount of people who will get this uh, negative reaction, right? So in that situation, people are a lot more comfortable getting those vaccines as long as you're not like an anti-vaxxer or just an idiot. <laughs> but people are a lot more comfortable getting those because they know for a fact what they're, they're getting quality, right? So with this is the situation with how with how um, recent COVID is there and how recent the like they how from how, from from the from the initial announcement of we have a we have a vaccine we're working on to we have a vaccine it was such a small period of time when like I was like I want to say I want to say maybe seven or eight months. Yeah. If that, right? And to to like the, the to the layperson who doesn't understand maybe the um the complexities of getting a vaccine from in the initial to you know to the market, they're gonna see that and be like, I don't trust that because it's so um it's so new. So I'm gonna want to see I'm gonna wanna wait I'm gonna want to wait out to make sure they get out all the kinks. And yeah. 
at the beginning, that's a, it's more of a an, everybody else look at them being like, oh, it's an irrational <laughs> thought to have because, like, oh, as it, as John said, scientists went through it. They're not going to release something from the fact. No, right? yeah, it's really not been tested, like. Yeah, but then it kind of it kind of reinforced. It was kind of reinforced in their head as soon as people started getting it, and they started to see on social media people getting the like negative reactions. Yeah, people getting sick and stuff. And my 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 thing that I'll probably say to them is like probably back in the day when people would get the negative reactions, it was like it was almost a negligible amount of people who would get it because it was like they were just a small small minority of people who yeah. would get it, and I was unfortunate who get the negative reaction. But because nowadays with social media and everything being so prevalent, like two or three or four people may get a negative reaction, and it's everywhere. So it feels like everybody's getting negative. Reactions. Yeah, literally. Yeah. So to, and in 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 their eyes, they already they thought. Hey, there might be negative reactions. I don't want to get. I don't want to. I'm going to wait for them to iron out the kinks. People are telling them you're an idiot. Just get the fucking vaccine. You'll be fine. They're probably coming around to it, and then they see on Snapchat that oh, this woman passed out because she got the COVID vaccine. In a way, you, it's almost impossible then to be like no, no, no. But like she was just a, an anomaly, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like it's really it's just, hard to yeah go on. Yeah, no, I I, under, I understand that. It, I, I'll go I'll go through it. Through, you've kind of you you yourself have uh, argued against yourself there with the with the way of it being like I like it's kind of I don't know. I just don't understand why people like people literally take stuff that they see so serious and they don't do any research. You know, they see a headline or they see this and and it's just so fucking annoying because even a lot of our friends do it, man. I won't name names, right? But, like, I'll be talking to one of our friends, and I'll be like, man, are you fucking stupid? Like, the don't shit talk. they'll come at me, Wait, like, what? and I'll be like, I just, I don't know, it'll just be anything. Like, it can be, you know the way people just make a, a like, fucking... Oh, oh, guys, guess what? I saw this online. It turns out that, you know, if you sleep on your back, then you're actually never going to have kids. Yeah, like, it's just <laughs> stupid shit that people just believe, and it's just like, and, yeah. and I'm sure there is science that says if you sleep on your back, you're never gonna have kids, but it's like, mm. the, the chance. Yeah, I wrote so the article. They just don't, <laughs> they just, <laughs> it just winds me up, but, um, but the thing about, uh, the stuff about, like, it being so fast, it's like, mm-hmm. if I, if I'm building a house, it's gonna take years, right? If I'm building a house mm-hmm. by myself, it's gonna take fucking yonks, whereas if mm-hmm. I hire every single b- builder in the world, to hire to build this house it's going to be mm-hmm. done in a couple of months do you know what i mean like mm-hmm. you have to think about it, it there's a difference between um uh like a, a a normal disease and a and a and one that's causing a, a pandemic do you know what i mean mm-hmm. like yeah. if you even think of ebola right so mm-hmm. if you think yeah. of ebola, ebola was uh it was was it only or mainly in africa it was mainly it in africa yeah it like moved out in a couple like weird cases you know like but yeah, it was there, main there was it was, few in america, was but mainly africa. you have yeah. to think about people in fucking scandinavia weren't like here man we have to sort out this ebola situation in africa they were like nah man fuck that let's keep working on this cancer stuff do you know what i mean whereas people yeah. in africa were probably going fucking mental trying to figure it out do you know like there's mm-hmm. a di- when it's across the whole world and every single scientist is working on the same thing it's mm-hmm. obviously going to get done so much quicker like there's a difference between you know a vaccine for the fucking common f- the the flu and and this do you know what i mean like mm-hmm. it's just mm-hmm. it just annoys me when people just don't think do you know like they just it's just like oh i don't know it's just people don't use their brains anymore you know it's mm-hmm. just, they're just fucking they're just vessels that take in words and then splurt them out at the the next person they find and then that person takes it in and splurts it out like it's just mm-hmm. Oh, it's just so fucking annoying. Honestly, people are the worst. Genuinely, people are the worst. <laughs> that, that that argument of that, um, because it was a pandemic, almost every single scientist, the whole building analogy, that was an incredible argument. I never I know. thought about I'm that. I'm really good, man. I'm just so fucking smart. But so, no, but you know, like, <laughs> I've got some, I've got some facts and logic. About it. Okay, here we okay. go. <laughs> this um, better be about sleeping on your back and not being. So <laughs> when you when you sleep on your belly, your balls are actually hanging. <laughs> uh, nah. So the thing about it is, so you know SARS. Yes. Right. SARS is SARS, COV two, according yeah. to this, uh, which means basically that it is a member of the coronavirus family. Mm-hmm. So, 
the point that I'm trying to make there is we knew about coronavirus and we knew it was a thing before it became oh, a yeah, thing for us. It's like, everywhere. Yeah. Um, the type of vaccine that we are receiving has been in development for years upon years because it's a different type of vaccine. It doesn't do the same thing as most other vaccines do where they like inject the dead um yeah whatever it is mm-hmm. into you and you know your body learns to they, fight they, it. They give you the disease basically. Yeah, is this is different. Of, yeah. This is different and the thing that's different the you know obviously years ago it wasn't being made to tackle coronavirus but it was being mm-hmm. made for loads of other diseases and stuff. So they already had a really, really good foundation before coronavirus even happened. And then it did happen. And then they got every scientist in the entire world, fact, yeah. every one of them, um, which sped up the process a lot. And that's why it came so quickly. Yeah. And I just I like just, it's, it actually just, makes sense. Yeah, literally. And I just don't think I, I just don't think I, it just winds me up like so like. Mm-hmm you know by the by the logic of of um uh, you know by the logic of saying like oh but there is a very small chance i might die or i might get a little bit sick or my arm might be sore or whatever bullshit yeah mm-hmm. uh, in that case never drive your car never leave your house you know like it's like you're you're picking out this shit even though you fucking probably drive every tuesday without your seatbelt on you know or like or just shit drive like at that all. and it's just like Mm, but it, see, there's but, so but, but, many things that you do day to day that you could pick out that there's a one percent chance, dude. There's probably a fifty percent chance that I go outside and die if I count up everything. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, mm-hmm. but but the thing is, but the thing is, with your with your with like driving a car, why why that I feel like that is that does that analogy doesn't um is is this analogous is that um with driving a car that's more of an educated risk. You know what you're doing with that. So if you're in a car, you swerve, like you know that this is all the possibilities what's happening. But to the lay person who doesn't know anything about vaccines, doesn't know whatever, all they know is from uh, the lay person knows base knowledge of vaccines. Yeah. And their base knowledge of vaccine is I'm going to get maybe the a dead version of the thing or maybe a replica of yeah, it yeah, or yeah. something inside me to where it's going to be um it's going like my body's gonna have to fight it off and then my body's gonna learn about it, yada yada yada. And they're probably thinking, what if the dead version? They might not know that this is a, this is not. They're not actually being injected with the thing. Yeah. But they know it's a COVID. They're not. They, so they're gonna be thinking, what if the version isn't dead? What if they give me a live version? What if I'm one of those people who has um like an underlying health condition that I didn't yeah. know I had, or like they're probably thinking of all these things, and so it, it then becomes an uneducated yeah, risk because they don't know any all those situations. So it, it's kind of. It, it's not the same as driving the car, and I get that. But with them, it, I don't, I don't, I don't know how you would try and bring them on your side, and to exp- because I feel with the people who are like, I don't want to take the vaccine, I want to wait, whatever. They're never going to. I don't think most of them are not going to budge on that. I feel like See, they're just going to yeah, wait. Yeah, I'm not even that mad. I'm not that mad about people waiting and stuff like that. Like it's more just people who are like, no, you know, well, like yeah, that, the that's the will be up. You know, if if you're planning on having it. Joe you know, Rogan. Even if even if you're waiting a little while, that's cool, man. You know, like that's mm-hmm. that it, it doesn't really make sense, but it's it you can make an argument for it, right? Mm-hmm. I can understand yeah. that. I would I would still disagree with it, but I mm-hmm. I do understand it, right? Whereas yeah. it's the people are saying no. It's just it's it's like it's like you're doing it as a detriment to yourself. Do you know? Like you're like it just doesn't. It just really just doesn't make sense. Like mm-hmm. it's like it's and like then... even people. Sorry. Peter, but even no, like people who are young are saying, "Well, I don't really need it." Man, do you think you just you just stop aging? Do you? Do you know what I mean? You're gonna be sixty eventually, and you think it's gonna be pissed off by then? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it. I just it just doesn't make sense. Like, I, I'd, I'd like to issue a challenge to uh, Joe Rogan. I would like to fight Joe Rogan. <laughs> um, I I already had a conversation about this dude. I, yeah, I, 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 very, I, oh, very angry man. <laughs> Joe, I'm convinced Joe Rogan is uh, has been born in the wrong generation, and by wrong generation, I mean he should have been born at ten thousand BC because his brain is monkey, man, dead ass. John, bro, you don't know how happy I am to hear somebody else say this. This dude is a fucking degenerate. Oh my! I can't, Entertaining I podcast. Podcast wars. 
I can't stand We're coming for you, Joe Rogan. <laughs> Bro, you said this and I started sweating. I'm so angry <laughs> Joe Alpha Brain Rogan. <laughs> he's, sort of, he's such a little rat. And there was, there was an episode, I should have seen it coming. There was an episode of him and Bill Burr. And God bless Bill Burr. He was, this was near the beginning of, of uh, COVID. And he was making fun of people, calling them like bitch men for wearing a mask. And, and Bill Burr's like, oh, you're such a hard lad not wearing a mask. Like, making fun of him. Like, th this dude is a, oh, he's such Shout a Shout out to rack. Adam's crisps. Oh, sorry, no, it was, um, it's, I mean, I'm eating a drumstick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really bad. Did you hear the, I just saw the one clip, man, I thought it was so funny. It's so not funny that you kind of have to laugh. Um, yeah. He's like, ta I don't know who he's interviewing, but he's like, um, the guy who's, who's interviewing him, because I don't watch Joe Rogan, because he's just too Neanderthal for me. Um, mm. He goes, like, obviously I've seen clips and stuff here and there, like the famous ones. Um mm -hmm. It's the guy interview him, interviewing him goes, so you're going to get the vaccine? He goes, he goes, no. Like as if it was super obvious that he wasn't yeah, going to get the yeah. vaccine. Like Joe Rogan, do you not have a mother? Like is your mother not in her 60s? Like she'll die if she gets it. Do you never visit your mother? Oh, wait, she probably well, eats like deer meat. So she's immune to diseases. Oh, <laughs> no, no, you're no, right. No. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right, man. Yeah, no bother. Oh, all them guests that you have on the, on the show? Uh, sorry, I hope you don't have any over 30 or any with asthma or any with any sort of underlying diseases because, or like underlying illnesses, I mean, because uh, you'll actually kill them. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, it's, it's so infuriating to think about because I, you know for a fact that he wouldn't be saying all this if he was affected by it. And not him personally. Like he's got, he's got like a daughter or something. And I touch wood, I would never wish this upon anybody. But like, if let's say his daughter went through a bad bout with COVID, he would not be as like careless and frivolous as he as he is about it. For example, right, um, his his best friend Brendan Shaw, who, who is a fucking degenerate of his own, right? He was on the show and he was he, he was kind of backing Joe about all of Joe's awful takes. But when Brendan had his son. His son was born with this, um, something to do with his brain, where he was having seizures constantly, right? And the thing that kind of helped his uh, son was this, like, CBD oil or something like that. And you were hearing about Brendan talk about it. It was heartbreaking. You don't want to hear about somebody's, like, newborn almost, like, die from something, like, they can't control. It's something to do with his like, brain. It's, I think it was maybe some kind of epilepsy thing or something. But you saw how serious Brendan took it. He was like shit. Like he, he he was doing research and everything. They found out like they did. They took they took uh, him to every doctor possible. Gave him all the medicine they could possibly get him. And he found out that the CBD oil was the best thing for him. Now imagine it was something like COVID instead. And then you're watching somebody else just not take it seriously. Like that's everybody else listening to this podcast has had somebody you know deal with COVID and maybe not not have a good bout with it. Have like a terrible bout with it, and then like or although, died from it, like a literally kill people. It. Yeah, yeah, and then you you having this dude be like, oh man, I don't, you it, you kind of hope you. It's kind of it, it's really sad, but you kind of hope you're kind of hoping that like I want you to go through this and see if you still have the same opinion. Like you kind of sit there like I hope somebody close to you gets it and is on the brink of death before you understand that this is something serious. And when you when you say calling for like the mayor of LA to be tried for treason because he put the place in a lockdown when the pl when there were so many fucking cases. You're like, man, how, like, um, what's the word? How, uh, how far removed are you? And then, like, stuff like with the, with Texas, when the whole, he, he, he was ranting and raving about how Texas, how good Texas was. It was so much better than LA. Yada, yada, yada. They get hit with, like, this, um, this snowstorm or whatever, right? Ted Cruz, flies off to, Can to like, Cancun or wherever in Mexico. And then he's there being like, what do people want Ted Cruz to do? Make it warm. warm. And then AOC comes down and raises four million for the people. Like, this Fair is enough. what he Never mind. Nothing. But, like, this is, this is what he wanted people to do. Like, this is what people were saying Ted Cruz wanted to do because the reason they were targeting Ted Cruz was because he was, like, um, like he, he was... A, a he's he's a leader, mean, and you need to lead by yeah. example. But like he's a leader for specifically Texas, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like he was in, like he was like voted in of like 
some kind of thing for something with Texas, but he's tied to Texas in some way, and he's flown off. And AOC, who lives in like, I think it was like DC or something, she flew over to raise all this money for them. You can just kind of sit there like, and then and he has such a stupid take like, what did they want him to do? Make it warm? No, you fucking idiot. Think before you talk. But but his kids were stressed, man. Oh. What do you mean? He had stressed kids. He had to bring them to Cancun. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a little holiday, little holiday thing. Yeah. Like, and I mean, he did. He did come back as soon as as soon as uh, twenty million people got angry at him. So oh yeah, yeah. You yeah, have to yeah. give him credit, like. No, yeah, fair enough. I'm calling. I, 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 I'm calling out Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. Me. You know. Me, you, Joe Rogan, uh, Helena Cell. Let's go. <laughs> so, somehow I think Joe's winning that. Literally not even, man. Joe I'll just. The shit out of I'll get the room. vaccine and then I'll give him COVID, like. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> Playing the long game, or is yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, he might beat me in the fight, but I win ultimately. <laughs> yeah. And I'm already coming for his spot as as what like number one podcast or whatever. He probably probably does have the number one podcast. I think we're mm. like number two, though, right? Hmm. We're like number oh, yeah. two. Yeah, we're close. We're, yeah, yeah. we're up there. We're up there. We have twenty subscribers. Twenty subscribers special this episode, by the way. Shout out to our twentieth subscriber. Thanks for subscribing. And we get uh, we get like twenty. We got twenty more than twenty views on the past two podcasts. So I, true. That means all of them are watching. To I mean, celebrate. we know all of. Them. But I mean, you know. To celebrate our 20 subscribers, I went and I spent a load of money on a brand new microphone. True. Has anybody noticed a difference in John's microphone? Leave us down in the comments. It's pretty <laughs> epic, guys. It was This microphone is way too expensive, by the way. And I was a little bit drunk when I bought it. Nice. Drunk? But it was, it what, was did I not buy time. it the day that... Right there? Yeah, I think so. Nice. No, wait, I couldn't have been that day. Maybe I wasn't drunk. Maybe I was just tired. Um, two days ago, I got so fucking drunk, it was crazy. Yeah. John was there. It, it was, was funny. Kind of and then... That's how wild we, <laughs> had, we, we had our cameras on, and uh, Adam disappeared for a while, and me and and, uh, and Gary were just talking. And yeah. then we go, we're like, we're like, where's Adam gone? Did he just, like, go to bed? And then we hear him go, and he goes, sorry guys, I'm in the kitchen, just getting some ice cream. And this is at like, <laughs> this is at like 6 a.m. Um, so basically what happened was, right? Yeah. So I was, we like started drinking at like one o'clock in the morning, man. It was a mistake from the get-go, right? Mm -hmm. And um, then- One o'clock, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what was going on. So it got- I like, wasn't drinking, but I had like yeah. two shots, but- It got to like, Form, and we started doing shots and I was doing shots of 12 year 12 year old Jameson shout out to people who bought me that and um, <laughs> I was like uh, I was so I was out out of like I knew where I was you know when you when you, you're you so fucking drunk but you still realize where what you're doing or like yeah, no yeah. you're like you're like talking and then you're but like words are coming out of your mouth but you're talking to yourself in the back of your head like Am I still talking right now? Is this are there other words coming out of my mouth? Like I, I would just kept. I was having a conversation with them, and I would just come back in and be like, "What's going on, man? What the fuck are we?" I was like, "We're actually having like a conversation, and I'm present." I didn't know what was going on, but then uh, I get a shot out, and I poured just way too much in, right? And um, I go to do it, and I just start choking. It comes up and out my nose. And man, let me tell you, man, that's bad enough when it's like Coke and not the Coca-Cola. But when that's burning alcohol hitting the back of your sinuses, man, that shit stings <laughs> very bad. So I get up out of the chair yeah. and I'm like, I, I have to go. I, like, I was like, I'm about to get sick. And I walk into the bathroom and I just burped and then came back immediately. I didn't. I was like so quick to turn around and be like, oh, no, never mind. I don't need to get sick. I come back in. But then I was just in so much pain, so I was like, man, I need a break. But I kept the headset on, and I was just listening to John and Gary's conversation while I was just down over the kitchen sink, like, oh, fuck, man, I'm about to die. I was, like, <laughs> questioning whether or not I need to go to a hospital. I was like, what is going on? And then I realized I had some ice cream in the thing, so I was like, man, if ever I have a sore throat, ice cream always does the job. So I whacked out a bit of, I whacked out a bit of, a bit of Vienna, came back up, and I was grand. That was Good fun. times, though. Man, I was so fucking drunk. 
Yeah. Christ. You hold it pretty well. You didn't like. You didn't fun, seem yeah. very drunk. You were still talk talking clearly. Yeah. And... No, and I I knew what was going on in my head. Like, mm. um, it wasn't like I blacked out or anything because I don't like when I do that. But um, if I still have like a choice over what I'm doing and mm. stuff like that, then it's pretty cool to be drunk. But um, fucking hell, man. It, I don't know. It it was just we started drinking then, and all of a sudden it was six o'clock in the morning, and I didn't know what was going on. Also, yeah, school night. Literally. <laughs> also, it was um, what well, we were playing Overwatch, <laughs> yeah. which we hadn't launched. We hadn't played Overwatch in a long, long, long time, and we launched it up, and we played like eleven games of competitive. And we lost every one every of them. Single every one. single one. We got stomped, man, and uh, nobody even got that mad, really. Yeah, oh. I think because we, whenever anyone started talking to us, we were just <laughs> me and Gary were locked on. The, well, Gary was Gary was drunk. Gary right? was, was Gary locked. was fairly drunk too. He, yeah, I think and then he woke up with a bit of a sore. John's stomach, always so. just vibing, and then I was pissed. So we we were just kind of making everyone's day like it was grand. I, I was playing well. <laughs> you were, yeah. I was literally carrying the team. Um, oh, it was so funny though, and we just didn't care and then the whole time i was thinking man like all those times that i was playing these games and i did care about winning and losing because I, mm-hmm. I i you know i wanted to rank up and stuff how many mm-hmm. people were in my game that are that are like us right now oh, yeah just like i felt i like i didn't feel bad because i don't i just really didn't care about my rank but like other people do and i still don't care but i know <laughs> that they're angry yeah Oh man, it was good stuff though, man. That shit was yeah, funny. Yeah, that was fun. We should do that again. Yeah. Except maybe not get as drunk. No, actually, more drunk. No, let's get no, no, Let's get yeah, more drunk. That, that, let's invite that's Peter that's next fun. time. Yeah. Bro, I mean, I, not that I, not that you're uninvited. Like we're literally in a public Discord <laughs> <laughs> that you're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just because like at that time I, was, it's, I have to wake up at seven. Like I would have. Oh yeah. And yeah. I got to work like. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been absolutely hammered and then started work. I, I, there's no way I could have. So, no, it's fine. Like, during the weekends, we we'll do it on the weekend, yeah. Um, but, man, that shit was... Oh, fuck. I was... Uh, I was sh- You know when you, you get up the next day? I wasn't even, like, traditionally hungover. Like, I didn't have a headache or anything. I was pretty groggy, you know? Yeah. I was... Yeah. You ever Did just, you, how does your mouth feel? You ever just vibrating? Just shaking? Yeah. <laughs> man, that shit's the worst. Did, man, would I you be able to eat? Um, I, I so no, hungry. I wasn't. You see, I wasn't really hungry, but I kind of was, and then I just didn't really know what was going on. See, I I already have not problems with food and how I eat, but like, you know, I I I don't eat a lot, and uh, but I probably should, and I probably am hungry, but then I'm like choosing not to eat or whatever, mm-hmm. and uh, so I didn't have anything when I got up straight away, and then I had a. 16 inch pepperoni pizza then for fucking dinner and that was all i had the whole day but yeah, jesus shit was wild. 16 Damn, Rick. yeah the chipper here only goes from 12 to tw- like it's like 9 12 and then 16 like 12 too small for me but 16 a little bit big like you'd be fucking struggling well off yeah mm. but uh but yeah man shit's good speaking of food Yesterday, I had the worst experience on my phone. All right, I'm I'm lactose intolerant, right? So they just get out the way, right? So, um, but I, wow, sometimes who I, guess? I like to. That's racist. Based on so, the smell of them. Like... <laughs> what the hell? Also oh, racist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like, sometimes I like to like challenge myself. Like, although I'm kind of lactose intolerant, I will sometimes eat. I will eat pizza. I will have ice cream, and I will have, like, a Baileys, you know what I mean? So, but yesterday, I was like, I'm not, after, I, I was playing basketball the whole day, and it was raining, I didn't want to come back and cook, I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get some, some, some food, and I wanted to get, like, Burger King, but I was like, ah, I'm not really feeling that, and I haven't, I was like, I've not had McDonald's in so long, let me see, like, and it's only drive through so I was like, oh, let me see if there's any apps I can use, and then I remember, like, I think McDonald's Day is exclusive to um to Uber Reese. Eats, yeah. So I was like, "Fuck it!" I'll just like you know, I'll, I'll order. It. Like I don't usually ever use Uber Eats. The one time I used it, I got annoyed. I was like, "Okay, let me just try this." Sometime on McDonald's, I ordered, and 
I bear in mind, I've not. I worked all day, and I had I had no breakfast, no lunch. After work, I went to go play. I did a three hour session of basketball. So like it's about eight or nine o'clock, and I haven't eaten all day. So I'm like, grand. I'm, it's eight o'clock now. I haven't eaten all day. I'm gonna order myself some food. I ordered mm-hmm. uh, a grand Big Mac, nice, with some chips. Um, the drink I got a chocolate milkshake. Okay. I I, I don't know why. I was just like. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm feeling a bit fruity. Let me get that. <laughs> I I got I, bro, that will come into play in a few seconds. <laughs> <Yeah. right? laughs> I got I ordered myself a triple cheeseburger and then I ordered myself another um what was the other there, there was like a whole the other thing was they said a homemade chicken burger sandwich. Right? That looks like you know like the, the like the chicken burger you get from like Supermax I usually always get. Yeah. Je- yes. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah. yeah Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So, so I it, I got that. So I got three burgers, chips, and a chocolate milkshake. No, no, no. Right. Well, hear me out. Right. So I'm waiting. About it says it'll be in twenty minutes. Thirty minutes go by, and they're just now saying the delivery's been collected. I was like, whatever. Cool. I'm not a dickhead. I'll 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 take my food late or whatever. They bring it over. Thank you very much. I go up, I go back to my room. I take out everything. I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. <laughs> There's two bags of chips here. Nice. I only ordered Stunks. one. Stonks. No, I only ordered one, but I was like, hey, listen, you know what? Free food. Yeah. Food in it. I take them two out, and I was like, well, um, I didn't order dessert. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't <clears> order an apple pie, but you know what? Okay, I guess it's there. I'll. If, uh, they give me free shit. I'll take that. I took them out, and I was like, the bag's all light. <laughs> 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 so then I look for my other burger and I'm like why does it say nine piece chicken nugget Ooh. I can't eat chicken nuggets every time I eat chicken nuggets I get a headache okay so that's I'm weird like, why is this I was like why is this there? that's I racist I think I'm allergic <laughs> true I think I'm allergic to chicken nuggets I was like I don't or something they put in it I was like I don't I didn't order this I was like okay I took this out I didn't the Grand Big Mac I ordered was just a normal Big Mac. So I'm like, man, they're, they're, they're taking the mick. They're taking the piss. So I'm like, I'm going full Karen. I'm not, and I'm angry. Because I'm, I'm now hangry, right? The only thing they got right was a fucking chocolate milkshake, right? So then I then go to Uber Eats, and I'm like, I'm like, the there's a there's a way you can like text the people, uh, like the help. And they'll just like text you back and be like, oh, how's the food? I was like, big man. <laughs> None of this is correct. <laughs> I, I haven't got this. The only thing I got that was right was fucking my, uh, my chocolate milkshake. Everything is wrong. I do like, okay, there's a step-by-step process. You just let us know what you got wrong. And then, like, we'll try and help you. Um, we'll, probably, we'll, give you we'll probably see what we can do. I said, like, grand. So then um, they gave me a list of, like, my original, my original order of the three burgers. And they're like, what's missing? And I go, tap, 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 all of it. <laughs> they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, you show us proof. And I was like, bet. I lined the whole thing up. I'm like, I ordered none of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then it's like, like all okay, eaten. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't touched it yet. This is the like, first five minutes. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to give you a full refund because that's all wrong. And I was like, bet. And they're like, okay, just enjoy the food. Eat what you can. Whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm not going to order again and wait another hour. So like, mm. fuck out. I eat what I can. Right? So then I'm going through it. I'm like, force myself to eat it because the Big Mac is the only thing I actually like out of that. And the chips, mm-hmm. the fucking chicken nuggets, I hate. But I, yeah. I, I was like, I'm hungry, I'm starving, I have to eat something, so I ate that. And then the apple pie was disgusting. So I was like, fuck it, I, I'm hungry, I have to eat it, so I ate it, right? Yeah, so I then, don't like McDonald's apple pies; they're gross. They're the worst thing. I, I love apple pies, but that's the worst thing I've ever eaten. It is yeah. disgusting, right? So then it gets onto against my my like I'm my mouth is dry and shit. I'm saying I'm dehydrated. I was like, I don't know why the fuck I ordered a chocolate milkshake. <laughs> But I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I, I'm drink I'm I finished the chocolate milkshake and my stomach is weird and I'm like ah, Bro, I wonder why. Colors. <laughs> I know, but I was like, you know what, fuck it. I was like, you know what, it's grand. I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this for now. I'm gonna let my body go to war, right? So then I clean up the mess, I go to bed, right? And then I I I, I go to bed I'm on my tablet. You would have swore I was drunk. I don't know what I ate, what happened, but it was like you know that fuzzy like feeling you get when you're drunk like a, like 
I don't know how to explain it. Just everything was funny. <laughs> 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 like, I'm on my own. I'm in tears laughing at some random video. <laughs> Peter's like, chocolate is- milkshake got spiked, man. It had to. I was like, bro, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Like, I'm like... And there's like a, whatever I, I it's the, whatever I'm drinking. There's like a sense of like uh, there's a feeling I get where I'm like I'm not really as um how to explain it in tune with like my, my touch. Like my skin, like whenever I touch anything, it's not sensitive. Does that make sense? Hmm. So well, I, that's why I, that's whenever I, I can know like oh the alcohol is hitting me now. It's like my whenever I touch anything, it's not as sensitive. Like I can't feel exactly everything yeah. like I would when I when I'm just sober. So I was like. Man, what is going on in my body? Like, I can't feel it. Like, I, I, I can't feel anything. Like, I feel like I'm drunk. I'm watching this video, and it's so funny. And I've watched this video before, and I, it's not this funny. And I was like, I, don't, and I did need to take a shit. I didn't use the toilet. Nothing like that. I just woke up. I was, I was just like, lying in, in the bed. Ha- I was lying in bed, hammered off a chocolate milkshake. That and is, like, that's so much stonks, man. Literally, uh, what's the chocolate milkshake cost? Like, four quid? Yeah, fucking hammered. It, it was an extra, extra eighty cents on the meal. There you go, eighty oh. cents to get absolutely banjoed, man. Unreal. <laughs> you know what you do every Saturday night now, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We got my chocolate milkshake ready to go. <laughs> it was. I don't know how to explain. It. I was. I, and I, I got up to go to the toilet, and I, I couldn't walk. I was like, "What is going? Why am I so Jesus. drunk?" I it's a chocolate milkshake. Like, I feel like I was spiked. Though. Maybe it was the apple pie. Roofied. It might have been the apple pie. It could have been. But I don't, I, like, how does that explain it? Pie. I don't know. It, it could have been the apple pie. It could have been the chicken nuggets. It could have been the milkshake. You ate the chicken nuggets? Yeah, I was starving. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was so hungry. I'd complain about how much he hates them. And then it's like, so I ate them. <laughs> The chicken nuggets is disgusting. Is the They're nice. Nuggets. I like the chicken nuggets. Yeah. It's dis- it's I'll get disgusting. a 20 piece. 20, you're nasty. See, right, I think with 20 pieces, you, know, you, you get to a stage. You, ha- you have to be asked. There's no <laughs> way in hell. What's wrong with eating ass? Nuggets. No, there's no wrong with eating ass. That's just, I, well, I can know that you, you're like, your taste buds are fine. Like, you're cool. Man, you, you, you taste. I ass. literally. Like, you're cool tasting shit. <laughs> I literally eat anything. Like, there's very, very few foods that I don't like. Licorice. I don't like licorice. Unless it's red. Black licorice is gross. Red licorice is unreal. Have you ever had salted ones? It's it's actually a crime. My favorite licorice? I love it. I love when there's salt on my sweet foods. Um, Bro, it's it's, it's a crime. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my life. Other than ass. Black licorice. Yeah, look it up. Are you sure you're not like salted caramel or something? Salted toffee? No, toffee? no, no. Toffee? It's yeah. Salted. Look it up. Salted black licorice. Black beans? Oh, licorice, yeah. 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 No, I don't like licorice. Nasty. I do like Bro. most other things, though. Like, if you put basically. I don't like tomatoes. If you put anything in front of me, I'll eat it. Like, I'll most likely eat it. But I, I, like, I would like to say with me. Also, spicy foods. Same? I love spicy foods, but I can't eat it. Oh, I, can, I, love I, get, I get sweaty. That's sort of what I And I'm like, I'm like... <laughs> yeah, I'm always like... <sighs> but I mean, I'm still there eating my hot Nando's, man. Yeah, and I'm trying to get... Like, I'm on my sixth refill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, eating spicy food's fun, though, I think. Yeah, um, Oh, yeah. I've not eaten spicy in a long time. In spicy food, you're you're paying for more than just the, you're paying for like the experience. It's the experience, yeah. And the experience the is pain. a good seven hour experience because like, it's like you you initially eating it like the heat afterwards, and then like depending on where like your body processes it, the toilet afterwards. Ooh-hoo! I don't really Sir? have that problem. Have you guys really. had um, um, extra hot in Nando's? No, because yeah. the hot is hot enough. Like the I you struggle see, with the hot. I'll yeah, I well, I I have hot. Like every time I go, like that's just my normal order. But I found with like extra hot, it was still tasty, but it got to a point where it was so hot, you're not even tasting anything anymore, man. You could be yeah, it's just pain. Human flesh in your mouth, and you'd be like, mm, yeah, this is good, man. Like, 
yeah. it was just too much. Like, there's no benefit to it other than you want to hurt yourself. Mm. Just but, um, pain. Straight pain. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's I remember. Good. It, it, it kind of numbs your tongue. Your tongue yeah. Kinda, like, it just yeah. hurts. Like, it's just painful. Um, but, I, yeah. I prefer to have hot or, like, medium, depending on the day I'm having. Yeah, I think... I think like... John, John, you have medium, don't you, John? Sometimes. I'll, I'll have hot or medium. Like, yeah, those yeah. times that I went to Nando's with you guys, I got hot. Yeah, you know both you, I, times. You, I think. Do you remember the time I got the wings? Oh, yeah, and I nearly died. I was dying. literally yeah, dying. Yeah, like, dying. But it's it tastes so good, man. I like I really like it, mm. and it tastes nicer than the uh, medium, but it just hurts. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing at, man. It's tragic. It's just it's literally like the, the biggest betrayal story of all time. <laughs> It's just a situation where I'm sat, we're outside opposite you, just staring at you, like slowly dying. I was like, bro, are you all right? You're like, I don't know. You got and through it them. It took though, me a man. long time. You're yeah, fucking... I'm like <laughs> sweating. My, I know my hands are. I gotta take a break between each bite. I'm getting clammy. <laughs> yeah. I'm sweating thinking about it. Fucking hell, man. That's memories. crazy. I miss Nando's. Yeah, we I should have, we should go Nando's next time we sprawl together. Facts. Yeah, I mean I got Nando's. Can you buy the Nando's sauce? Two weeks ago. Yeah. 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 Don't oh, ask. Yeah. You get hot meat yeah, everywhere. You can get gonna, the supervisor. Yeah, everything. I'm gonna buy the Nando's sauce. And it's never as good wings. though. Just yeah, a I, warning. I figured, but um. Ah, uh, it's not that. It, it, but it, I think because it's because bad. it's cooked it's in it, like yeah, the, like there's just the way they cook it and stuff. It's mm. it's just it's always gonna be better. Thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll like, do it, whatever. I'll I'll look it up, like, you know, how to get it most genuine, and I'll do it that yeah, way, yeah. whatever. Yeah, it's good, though. Or I could just go to Nando's. No way. Well, I can't really, because you're not supposed to leave. Man, I'm so excited that we don't have to work until at least after April. <laughs> oh, yeah, Shit. there's, like, hospitality's not coming back no, for a while. Dude. Yeah, like, on, on, on April 5th, they're thinking about opening up something else. Mm. Like, at, we're going to be on the lowest of the low. I don't think we're going to be until... Like May uh, yeah. at, at, at the latest. Yeah, I don't think. Guys or at the earliest, rather. Summer. Sorry. Yeah, I don't um, think we're gonna be back till summer. Yeah. Um, but when I'm we like do that... go back, oh my god, it's gonna be stress out the arse. Oh, it's gonna be jammers. I, yeah. I, I'm so happy. I will not. I will not be back for that beginning stages. Like. Yeah. I will not be back at all. Hopefully. But it's just crazy, man. I was just yeah. on the on the on the verge of um, of promotion. And uh, and now, I think that's gonna be gone. But I'm kind of happy about it because I'd be scared I'd take the promotion and then stay there for the rest of my life. <laughs> that could be fun as well. I don't know. Ah, oh, yeah, you don't know. That place is full of a lot of stories. I'm just trying to trap me there, man. Little prick. <laughs> Shout out to Sanju. He was our twentieth subscriber. Stop. <laughs> oh, wait, fuck. Can I? Yeah, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, it's, it's we're, fine. We're, we're yeah. late, but now. Um. I think it's probably gonna give that. We're probably gonna give that. I know, give that promotion to Sean, so you ain't getting it. Sean is, bar. Sean's in the Sean's bar. The bar. That's the reason oh, I'm getting it. Oh, he moved like permanently. Yeah. Yeah. Like the whole thing was. Oh like, well, I wonder oh. if he'll still. Ah, oh, surely. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not I, sure. I, I, it, he will because it was all hours. It wasn't to do with. I don't think it actually was to do with Jay or anything. It was all to do with hours, and he was getting more hours there, and there just yeah. was yeah. none in, in CMB and where we work. Yeah, so, I, don't, um, I, I thought he was going to go in there for the hour. I didn't think he actually moved there. Like, no, uh, yeah, it wasn't for uh, the manager. Like, it was just... Mm. No, but he did actually move. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's, oh, interesting. That's why, yeah, that's why... Like, when Sean... Like, he was going to give it to Sean. Like, that was the thing. When Sean was leaving, he was like, Listen, man, you know, you... Uh, it made sense because Sean knew more than I did because he worked full-time i've never worked full-time like you asked me to set up a meeting like i'll give it a go but it's probably going to be a disaster the first couple of times like mm. um obviously it's not extremely hard work or anything like that but it is you know like it's just, it's just yeah it's just knowing what to, yeah it's put not knowing just like, live, yeah. yeah yeah um but then when he left isn't I mean, it, it was crazy basically... sorry yeah go on no you say you go on finish no i was gonna say it's basically because of the like john wasn't there because we just didn't need the people and he yeah. gave the hours to me and what's his face jamie 
so and then jamie's obviously a great worker so um no but jamie was leaving and stuff so mm-hmm. sanju was just always coming to me and i always hasn't an answered just because like we've been there for so long like you yeah. ask any it will any of the people who, who we all started with bar maybe a couple because they're idiots um <laughs> Uh, they're obviously going to know the answer, but because no one else was there, he just thought I was class. So uh, he he wanted me, Cause, and I think it was he was also saying it to make me stay because he thought I was going to leave, but then I didn't, and then he kept it up, and oh, it was just mm. but um, yeah. Okay, uh, John, what were you going to say? I was going to say, isn't it crazy that uh, um, you know, uh, Andy from wherever with like no job experience can get the job that we have and i'm sitting yeah. here with three years college experience yeah. in science and you know education and i can't get a job that's above minimum wage because <laughs> i tech because i don't have the piece of paper yet like like just i just want a part-time job that pays a little bit above minimum wage doing something that requires a little bit of brain power that's like that's fine i'm okay with that and uh, mm. you know, maybe like in my field that I can do something with. Like, why is build, there no why is no part time jobs? Yeah, yeah, mm. and like I can gain experience for when I finish and go into like full time. Mm-hmm. Uh, why isn't there? And I know that's kind of what you're doing at the <clears throat> moment, Peter. But I'm just like talking about my situation. I yeah. can't go yeah. anywhere with three years third level science experience under me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and get a job like I have to wait tables at weddings for people who are less educated than I am like hey we the got thing, great customers the, 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 the thing is though right is when it, it, it is really fucking shitty but one thing I will say that you have a benefit o- over right and I, I did it's kind of like a blessing in disguise I didn't know I had until like I was talking to like the recruiters at like the, the place I work at now I was talking to some to whatever, and I was talking to them like you know, just take like just picking a brain as like what they're looking for and shit like that. And what thing they said that um, like they they tend to look for is not necessarily experience, but is it's applicable experience, right? And, and not nece- not necessarily one that's like directly applicable, right? So in your situation, you're gonna be um, like handling you know um, teaching, right? And that's going to be very, very, like... Uh, that's gonna, Handling you're gonna be kids. Under, no, but you're going to be under a lot of pressure to begin with. And yeah. what... And on, when you're... When you're working at, like, the, the, the hotel and you're doing... Like, you're waiting tables. When... At, at the interviewing process, when they're talking to you, and you, they're going to ask you, oh, you know, how is working here? If you, if you could just let them know, oh, yeah, I was under pressure constantly. I had to do 40... Pe- I had to do three tables, 40 people or 30 people... Like back to back to back, like uh, I have to make sure they're all satisfied with their food. I have to make sure that if somebody's allergic to this thing, I have to make sure they didn't get that thing. Make sure their special requests were fulfilled. Otherwise, like if I didn't, they could potentially die. Like, I, and I have the the, the, res- I have the responsibilities of pretty much like a manager, but I wasn't getting paid like one. But I was dealing with the the, the responsibilities and the pressures of some. Uh, and I had somebody's like life in my hands. Where you're describe, where you're telling them this, these are like I handled this pressure for about two years, and there's no, there's, there hasn't been a death on my watch. That's like a really, that's a I really wish good I could thing. Say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, what you're saying makes sense, but it still sucks mm. ass that I'm paying for college and in a job that that's minimum wage, like even though I've yeah. got, I've got like over half of the experience. And. and it goes on to what I was saying the other day. It's like um, uh, last week when I was saying that, like, if I perceive you as an idiot, whatever, I, ju- I, 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 I can't, I can't like you. I can't, like, we can't be friends, right? It is so frustrating when, in the, when you're in some situations where there are people above you, yeah, getting paid more than you, doing all this, and you're just kind of like, big man, like, this guy's I'm literally smarter an idiot. than you. Yeah. yeah, like this dude is literally. I'm I'm smarter than you. I know I am. Like, you you've never you never went to college. Like, oh, that's that's infuriating. That's very infuriating. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's stressful. I don't I, I don't want to work. I want to um become a professional podcaster. So step up your game. 
True, man. How can we improve this? How can we make it better? I think we should make it in person. Yeah, well, I mean, we can't, but I understand. I, I definitely agree with that. I think, like, a video thing is ten times better. <clears throat> Just because yeah. it's more engage not I guess engaging might be the word, but it's more interactive and it's more, it's easier to watch. Do you know, like, this is, you know, we have a YouTube video up, but you're only listening to it. You know, I don't think anybody's mm. sitting there yeah. uh, watching our little... I might try putting it on Spotify record. again. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah that, try that. It, that, yeah, that, it's, it's annoying that that's so stressful. That's another yeah. thing. Um, I think, yeah, 100% we should try to get a video because that'd be a lot more fun. Um, the For the final thing, uh, Peter, do you want to see a really funny video that I recorded like sure. two days ago? So, sure. I don't know if you've ever, uh, if you've ever played Rainbow Six Siege or know anything about it. I, I, I know Just a lot it. about it. I've never really played it, though. You know a lot about it? Okay. So, I was playing Rainbow Six Siege the other day. And uh, it was me and a few others, and there was this one random guy in the game. And I was playing this character known as uh, Tachanka. You might know of him. Okay. And Tachanka was changed recently. He used to set up a turret and like stand at the stationary turret and shoot people. Now he's got yeah. like this. He's got like this um, f uh, like fire grenade thing. He like shoots grenades that that like sets the ground on fire, and, and if enemies walk into it, they get hurt. Well, yeah. incidentally, if teammates walk into it, they get hurt too. And I was playing, <laughs> I was playing with this guy. Make sure when you watch the stream, make sure you've got audio. Okay. So uh, are you tuned into the stream? He, yes, I'm in. He's in. Okay. So we're gonna Peter's live first reaction of this. Adam has obviously seen it. So I'm. This is me right. playing to Chanka. Okay, mm -hmm. and this this guy is the uh, he's the, the victim. Uh, victim, the victim or the talent <laughs> I'll call him. What's yeah. it? The talent. He's the talent. The talent so, victim. so we've got super Saiyan genes. Okay, I'm Tachanka. Yeah. They're coming from this direction. I'm like, let me stop them coming this way. Chucks the grenade. Easy clap. He's like, let me walk into it real quick. John roaring in the background. <laughs> <laughs> And that's all he says. <laughs> he just screams at me. <laughs> that was the best reaction I've ever gotten from anybody. One more time. And this is this is Ryan talking at first, by the way. That it gets me every time. I think he's here. A legend, man. Oh my fucking so, god. So, that's the best clip I've ever taken from playing games. Oh my god. I watch that <laughs> every time I'm depressed. Which is like once an hour. That. Yeah. Post it. <laughs> I'll put it, I'm gonna put it into my montage. Yeah. Oh wait, whack it on the new TikTok. <laughs> the new TikTok? Oh, whack it on the TikTok, man. We made yeah, a, we made we're, a viral podcast out. TikTok. We're oh, gonna okay. put all the racist stuff that Peter says on it to try yeah. and track. If you don't shut your bitch Um, unfortunately, yeah, I don't know how much content we're gonna have because me and John are kind of saints on the thing, so we yeah. don't really say anything worth putting there. But uh, Peter's stuff oh, will probably right. keep it going for about two months. <laughs> anyway, nice, we just nice, uh, nice. we just have to sift through. It's gonna be hard to do that, I think, because we have to. Which put which one do I pick? Yeah. Which which, which clip? Of, that yeah. Did. yeah, I don't Peter know. There's so many. Yeah. We'll, we'll make multiple videos and we might as well. Yeah. But, um. You motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, we have to sift through all the racist stuff that he says. And, um. But yeah, that's probably going to take another while because I feel like. No, it depends. We just have to try it, I think. Yeah. I'll you, see. You kind of have to put. I, I, I have, a, like, I have a few ideas already because I made. Because I was actually thinking about this. I was like, uh. Cause, cause when I was editing the last video, I was like, that'd be really funny on its own. This one little section. And then I thought to myself, I'm going to make a TikTok and I'm going to put it up. And then I made it and I was like, let me see, let me, let me just show the others and like get their reaction to see if, if anybody's like, ha that's funny, but seriously don't do that. Like, and then I, so that's when I put the link into the discord and yeah, you know what? Adam seems on board. Peter says racist shit, so I don't listen to him anyway. Yeah, so I was exactly. like, <laughs> I was like, that's fine. Um, so 
and then I just forgot to take the clip and yeah, do it. Yeah. But I am going to do that because mm. I have all the yeah. recordings and everything. So, so, yeah, so uh, follow our platforms, man. the viral podcast on TikTok. Uh, has uh, anybody any final words? Who did I issue? Who did I issue a fighting challenge to this week? Um, uh, to Joe Ted Cruz, um, Joe Rogan, and Ted Cruz. Ted, yeah, that's so, going to be the thumbnail. Mm. So that'll be fun. Joe Rogan and Ted Cruz. Yeah, put his <laughs> put his head onto uh, Harambe. A, a monkey. Yeah. Okay. Thank mm. God he's not black. Holy shit! That would have been an issue. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that could have been. Ted Cruz issue. black. No, no, no. no Come on, you know what I'll do? I'll do Godzilla, Godzilla versus King Kong. Godzilla be Ted Cruz, and and King Kong can be Joe Rogan. And then put like a stick man of me as well. Yeah, no problem, man. I'll ninja nin, words ninjaing them both. Yeah. Mm. Um. All right. That's it, folks. Wait, what did we? What did we used to say at the end? Did we used to say anything at the end? No. I don't nope. think so. We just said bye, everybody. All right, bye.